Well, this place is a mess. Um, maybe I should clean this up first. Most of you know that Pluggable had sent me this little uh, USB microscope thing, uh, which I really like. It's uh, It works pretty good. Um, it, you know, it just, it does the job and it's not very expensive. But as you saw very likely from the title and the thumbnail, Banggood has sent me something else. Now, this is uh, when we were discussing with my Banggood contact what I wanted for their Black Friday sale, which is going on right now, um, if you're watching this near release time. Links in the description, obviously. Oh, hello. A little death adapter. I was wondering what the thing poking out the top was. Just a death adapter. A little bit not plussed about this, but whatever. Um, so these things, I'll have to explain why I wanted this. Uh, but the first thing is I'm going to have to see it myself because this is being recorded before I've actually seen it. The thumbnail gets taken towards the end of the video. So let's see what's inside here. We've got a box. We've got a box. We've got a box. And we've got a box. All right, so first things first, this here should be a stand. Uh, these stands are like a dime a dozen, but if you look at the price of this um, of this camera with and without the stand, the package with the stand is like the same price. Uh, especially when I picked it, because it was on sale. So yeah, it's just a regular stand here with uh, Looks like it's a quarter 20 thread at the end, and there's a little clamp that goes on your bench. So this thing weighs a ton. This piece here weighs more than this whole thing. That's interesting. Um, these stands are kind of garbage, but it will hold the camera up, and uh, I will explain why I wanted this a little bit later. Which one next? This one here, okay, little um, CD. Don't have a CD-ROM drive. Ooh, it comes with an HDMI cable, very nice. So this is a flat HDMI cable, so it's not very bulky, which is nice. Does it have good flex? It has relatively good flex. And it's pretty long, it's about probably four feet. Meter and a third uh, remote. Plug pack, plug pack is um, 12 volts. So, I mean, we can just feed it 12 volts if we don't want to use this with the death adapter, but we're gonna try it as sent. USB, this is a uh, sort of like the, I think this is USB type B, which is the uh, printer plug type thing. And this is the star of the show. So if you go take a look at the link for this camera, you'll notice that it's hard to really get a gauge of how big it is. But uh, here it is, here it is in my hand. It is actually fairly small. It is about, it's about uh, 50 mils by 50 mils by 55 mils. It's got a quarter 20 here. Oh, and a quarter 20 on the other side, so I don't know what side's up and down. Um, yeah, HDMI, USB, there's the DC barrel jack. A little bit of a menu thing, infrared receiver, TF card. So what I wanted this thing for is A, if it makes a competent uh, microscope with a lot of range, which I'm hoping, uh, then it's going to be a great microscope to solder under because you need to get under there. This pluggable one here, you don't get a lot of range on high magnification. The second thing is this thing is an interchangeable lens device. So there is the uh, sensor element there. And this uses, I think it's M43, micro four thirds uh, lens system, which is what is in here. So this is a specific lens to use this as, well, they say it's a microscope, but I'm not sure. So I'm a little bit of a photography nerd, or at least I used to do it for fun. And 
the plan is if we can get these four thirds lens for lenses for cheap, which I think you can, Banggood has a couple listings for them. Um, I'm hoping this will be a better, more versatile uh, camera, USB camera, than the uh, C9 C920. I think that's what I have, um, because the C920 has a very wide angle lens. I would rather have something that can shoot a little bit narrower uh, so I can get a second view on live streams. And if it does a good job at being a um, microscope with a lot of range, then I can have, you know, a, a good microscope that's out of frame and I can take a look at stuff on live streams. Oh, this is nice. Near far. So this is um, focus and this is aperture. So this is controllable focus and aperture on the lens. That feels quite high quality. Like, I know it's probably not super high quality, but it feels really nice. So there we go. That is, that's actually really sweet. And you've got an adapter here, and I feel like that adapter is if the, uh, the threads here on this camera are not the right threads. So this thing should be able to do uh, 1080p 30, uh, 30 frames per second through the USB, and it should be able to do 1080p 60 frames per second on the TF card recording uh, and via the HDMI. So if you have a capture card, the HDMI might be a better option for you. So that's neat. I can't wait to play with that. Little lens cap back on. Okay, and this kit also included one more thing. So this one has the proper adapter on it. There we go. Just a little light. It looks like this light uses a LED with the lens. Oh yeah, it uses one of these um, sort of like Luxian stars or whatever they're called. Looks like a two to three watt Javi with a dispersing lens. And this has a little on off switch. And it doesn't say the voltage out on this thing. I mean, we can measure that. That's not a big deal, but hmm. If this thing would have got inspected by uh, customs, this wouldn't have been let into the country because I think that that uh, label is a uh, legal requirement. Oh, plus, that's not the North American prongs. This is a, a Chinese prong. So we, there's no holes on them, and they're not polarized. So basically same thing as the death adapter. Okay, let me clean this out a little bit and uh, we'll see what we can do with this thing. I cannot start to explain to you how much this is exactly what I was looking for. So uh, here's a little light uh, with that little Luxion star thing, little Cree style LED, and it's shining over here. Um, I will just bring in the image now of what this looks like. This is, we're just looking at the death adapter. So there it is. Okay. So as you can see, that's a fairly good magnification. But how good is the working distance? Well, for that, I'm going to have to show you a picture because the range on this thing is insane. Like, here, take a look at this. So it's not even in shot. This is uh, above my shoulder. So basically, the DSLR that you're looking at, the main screen right now, that is shooting from about the height of, you know, like it's it's under, under my chin, about the, you know, a little bit more than chest height, I would say. So I don't really have that much working distance. Probably to the bottom of the lens, yeah, probably just about chest high. This camera is a solid 25, 20 centimeters higher than that. And look at how good it looks. This looks awesome. And it has manual focus, uh, manual aperture, uh, and that little ring that came with it, you have to install that on or else you can't focus uh, this close. So in fact, uh, if you lengthen that ring, so if you 3D printed an adapter, you could have the camera a bit lower but I mean, this is, this is ridiculous. Uh, I love this. This is exactly what I wanted. This is a USB camera that will stay way out of shot. I can mount up somewhere. And when I do my live streams, I'll be able to just switch to it and we'll get a second angle close up.
because the wide angle by the Logitech C920 is just not good for seeing up close. So I could just set that camera up on top and just switch to it or have it in a little box in the corner so you guys will be able to see things up close. This is awesome. This is exactly what I was looking for. Let's inspect some other stuff. I've got about uh, 27 and a half centimeters of distance from the lens to the workbench here. And this fits exactly one tiny Pico. So this is a C on the unexpected makers uh, tiny Pico. And look at this thing. This is in glorious 1080p. I, I think I'm recording at 60 frames per second, but this camera is only outputting the 30 because I'm just going USB. Oh, and I forgot to mention something else while we're at it. I know it's huge, but there's the plug pack. If you're plugged into USB, it seems to work without power. So if you want to record on the TF card, well, then you're going to need to plug it into power. But if it's just going to be plugged into your laptop or your computer, you don't need it. You just need the USB, which is awesome. I'm not sure if the remote will bring up anything. It doesn't bring anything up on the USB, but we probably have to plug a screen in the HDMI to take a look. I think this thing is going to be an awesome little tool. Smaller, you say. Okay, um, this is the board I've been live streaming the soldering of. This is the uh, clock kit from uh, IC station with the 0603 LEDs. So that's what you see there. Those are 0603s. Look at my massive index finger. Even, look, there's one over here that seems like uh, it's seen better days. It looks uh, kind of burnt. So look at that. This is inglorious. Again, 1080p. Um, 60 or well 30 fps but if you capture it it'll be uh, 60 fps or if you record to the tf card this thing is quite impressive i am hoping to uh, maybe get a little uh, hdmi screen here hook this up to it and i would hazard to say that this would be just fine to record youtube videos on even it's quite interesting. I might have to give that a shot and see what the files look like in the end. So I am actually pretty hyped about this thing. Uh, first of all, it installed in Windows 10 without any drivers, so I didn't need to plug this in. Um, the remote control and the buttons on the back don't seem to do anything, so it probably does a, um, a, a screen overlay via the HDMI. So you really do have to get something plugged into the HDMI to work these buttons, but that's fine because then it's, it's in standalone mode. Um, it would have been nice to output over USB though, because a lot of modern TVs have USB power. Um, but yeah, you won't be able to see anything you're doing. Um, hmm, maybe you can. That's something I need to try for a different day. But already the gears are turning because this is a 35 millimeter lens. So if you get a 50 millimeter lens, then you'll be able to put the camera even further back. So, you know, you can have this hanging from the ceiling or up in the corner over there, focused on the workbench. And it's pretty good. You've got uh, control of your aperture. Uh, I tried to move up the aperture as high as possible to get the most in focus. Uh, and then here is your regular focus. And these things are pretty nice because again, if you extend the distance from the sensor to the lens, so if you move the lens away from the sensor, you get more magnification, but you gotta move it closer. So if you had another one of these adapters, for example, which I'm sure are inexpensive online, you could get even more magnification. So I think 35 mil is a pretty good spot but if we can get something like a 50 millimeter lens to move it even to get, you know, even more magnification, I, I think this thing is unstoppable. So really not that expensive. They're around a hundred dollars. Uh, if you consider the price of a C920, which is the webcam I use, uh, they're around $70, but they can't do 60 frames per second. They're stuck at 30. Uh, these things are 
30 regularly, 60 with the HDMI. Um, but I think this is a pretty good investment. The only thing, if you're going to be, you know, plugging in a lot of uh, webcams into your computer, is that the webcams have to be on a different controller, like USB controller. So if I want the webcam here and uh, the uh, this thing also plug into my computer, they can't be in the same hub in the same port. They have to be on separate ports controlled by separate devices. So basically, you know, if you have front panel USB, rear panel USB, you uh, can plug one in each. And then if you have more uh, devices to plug in, you may need a uh, PCIe card with USB ports on that. Uh, this thing just uses USB 2.0, not 3, which is good. And um, yeah, for the full review, we're going to have to plug this into some HDMI devices. But this is just a first look. What do you want to see this thing tested on? Let me know in the comments below. The link is in the description. Even if you don't want to buy one of these, uh, this time of year is the perfect time to buy from Banggood or your favorite sellers. Uh, maybe I'll put a couple links of the things I find interesting in the description. Thanks for watching.